YouTube, 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 never fear, Logan Jay's here, back with another Sneakerhead Saturday review. Um, today is actually July 3rd, Friday, but I'm going to release it on the Saturday, so um, here we go. Got a quick unboxing from Nike, picked these up last week, was undecided till last minute, and said, ah, let me see if I can get them. I actually tried for those uh, Toro 14s and unsuccessful. Let's see how these are. Okay, I like the box. Even for the lows, they did this. I like that. Got your Nike here. You know. Get an up close look at this. Air Jordan 11 Retro Low. You got white. University red and black retail 185 style code a v 21871601 see how these look okay you got your stamped here there you go Got your black tissue paper here. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. I don't know. It's a contrast with the white. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I don't know if it's because it's 8 o'clock out here right now. It's the other day that the video was before I went to work and super bright so really humid today i don't know if you can tell get you an up close look but the white leather and the white you know eye stays coming up on the side of the sneaker are two different colors it's not flowing as nice as it should um the sneaker is not good mm -mm. And I really wasn't sure about it. I didn't see no reviews on it. I just wanted to see how they were. They are a great concept, but the look is just not there. I think the eye stays need to be leather as well, which I don't know how they could do that. If they ever have done that in leather, they would need to do that to match. Because the contrast, even with the, the white laces, I don't know. It's just not flowing. It looks better with the mesh. I like the uh leather better than the mesh because the mesh gets dirty and you can't really take it off like in the concord so um yeah this is uh no good but we're still gonna do the review you got your also like the bread 11 it's a red university red with little hits of black and your black jump man translucent peeking through carbon fiber and what it's like a gray and a gray because it's not black it's a gray gray white midsole black patent leather upper it's around the whole sneaker basically same uh the, the lateral is the same as the medial nothing different really you know you got your eye stays again like i said uh you got this white leather on the upper and then contrast it with another brighter white laces and the eye stays i don't know if you could peep that i don't know how they're gonna come out on camera but no you got your black sock liner and the heel you have a black small jump man there and a two three in university red and in the insole is a red jump man there of course in the back of the tongue you damn you got your quality product inspired by the greatest player ever I'm only gonna be able to see that I really like the leather the leather feels really good it's a shame that the look is not there on these shame 
I bet they look really good on feet, but I don't know. It bothers me, the two-tone look of it. It's not there. I don't know. Maybe I need more lighting. I don't know. It's just not, it's not looking like how it should, how I'd want. But I really like the leather. It feels very nice and soft. So that's about it, YouTube. Um, disappointed. These are no good. I don't know. Yeah. Production date, really quick. 11, 2019, 1, 7, Yeah, it took six months to release these. They had these forever. <laughs> well, yeah. Give you another quick look. Give you a little bit closer look. You can see the two tone on there, yeah. Not good. But yeah, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's your boy Logan J. Happy Independence Day. Peace.